Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slime Fun Tutorial here on the channel. I'm your host Boomer and today we're going to do part three of Slime Frame. That's right, we're going to finish this off today. We're going to talk about some of the tools that are in here as well as some really cool features. First thing I want to get into right off the bat is the ability to mine blocks that you normally can't do. Now, if you've played Crystal May Astoria, you know there's a spiritual silken. Here we have the Orkin wand. Now, I've using the prime one which has a thousand and twenty four uses the regular one to start with the entry level one has thirty two however it still gives you the option to pick up those blocks that are normally not mineable really cool feature alright let's move on to the energy tutorial and there's a reason why these generators have the ability to create bonus energy so what the any of these generators that have the ability then can look above below left right up down and if it finds one, it's going to add that cumulative bonus into how much is being generated. So that each generator has its base energy, and then all but one of them also have bonus energy. So, for example, if a generator, just one of them, the bonus of it is 1,000, and it's running 2,000 joules as standard. If all six blocks around it, it's going to give you another 1,000 times six, so another 6,000 joules. So that one will be energy, uh, generating 8,000 joules of energy per second. So in this case, I've set up a section of seven of them here. Now each one of them generate 110,000 joules as a capacitor. It stores that in its buffer. It's not really a capacitor, it's a buffer storage. So that's 770. Now I don't know if you can see it though. I've got 802 as my number. So that means I'm generating another 64,000 joules per second or 32,000 per tick. Well, the one in the middle, because this particular generator has a bonus of 3,000 and each one's generating 4,000 per second. So that's 2,000 per tick times 7 is 14. Plus, the middle generator is getting another bonus of 9,000 per second. And each additional generator on the side, each one of those has a connection with one more. So there's another 9,000 joules per second. So there's our 32,000 joules per, I'm sorry, per tick. I'm sorry, I said per seconds, per tick. That's the $64,000 question and the additional amount of power being generated. So we're generating a ton of power. So the nice little bonus feature, and as you go up these machines, you'll see the bonus energy increases as well. And so you can very quickly, you know, gain a, a lot of extra energy uh, for very little extra work. Can you imagine, here, just placing two of these, instead of getting 4 million joules per second, you're going to get six. <laughs> oh, that's going boomer, baby. All right, let's keep going here in our tools. Um, getting the resource, actually, you know what, let's hold off before we do that. Let's do one other thing over here. We're going to get into talking about the item projector. This thing is really cool. Uh, I think Christmy Astoria has something that allows you to showcase items. However, I don't believe, whoops, we don't need 10 in there. I don't believe um, that it can do this. I don't think it rotates, and this has some adjustable features. And so we can lower the item, as you can see it going in the background. We can raise the item. We can start and stop it spinning. Now, the spinning I don't care so much about, but if I want to feature something, this is pretty cool. I can increase or decrease its size. So we'll make it bigger again. So really pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and start spinning back up just because. All right, now when it comes to resource gathering, there are nine resources that only have one possible way of being identified or collected and it's these first nine. I believe these are the only nines that are actually mined from ores. So for example, if I need pyrol, it's a common one from endstone, meaning when I start mining endstone, I'm going to get a ton of it. When I'm talking about mining nether gold ore, getting thaumica is pretty rare. So the chances of getting it are much lower. And if I remember right, a ton of options within this add-on are configurable by server owners. So I'm not going to give you guys default percentages. Um, server owners can set that on their own. Personally, from what I've been playing with it, I'd probably just leave them at default, but that's just me. Now, we have three different nose and picks. There's the entry level, which does not come with the enchantments on here. I put those on simply to test for speed, as well as can I get additional drops 
from slime frame and fortune does not yield those drops every single time i was only able to obtain one at a time no matter how many times i hit it uh, the second one is a little bit more upgraded and as you upgrade these picks the higher of a probability you have of obtaining your drop and then ultimately the prime one so i'm just going to use the prime one to show you so when it talks about those one that comes from endstone and i believe that's pyro the very first one wow we're getting it pretty easy right and just after a few blocks i've already got four now there are others that are obtained from different ores so for example uh traveride comes from mining stone um let's see here it's about pronouncing some of these is driving me crazy here from netherrack okay pharaohs comes from the two different iron ores uh that would make sense veneral comes from lapis ores right nemlon comes from quartz ores so i can sit here with my pick now it will not work on ores that you've silk touched and placed unless you put them into a block placer like i did with the endstone it will only mine them if it believes it's a naturally generated block and you have two ways to do that one would be a block placer and so here i've got endstone here i'm using netherrack whether you mine it physically or you use it through like smg's netherrack generator the block placer makes it count as if it's a naturally placed block and then we have the orchid here helping us to turn netherrack into what we need so for our overworld ores i'm simply just gonna you know mine a few at a time just to make sure the orchid has enough time to get the the blocks converted now depending on what's all installed on your server you may pick up drops from other add-ons okay so there's our veneral from stone you also get the vanilla ores uh anemone shard is simple storage uh you might also pick up some stuff from cultivation if that's installed on your server but you'll see and again we're getting some of those drops so by having a simple uh stone generator that you would use in skyblock the orchid simply just turns it and if i need to mine the stone i can just come in closer and try it but you'll see again that we're getting those drops that we would need uh, here we go here's pharaohs same thing with the nether ores now there's only two that we really need right it's the nether gold ore and the quartz ore so as i'm happen to be mining this along yeah you know what i'm gonna get some basalt or deep slate but every so often uh, i'm also going to get i let this come out a little bit i'm also going to get stuff like uh, ancient debris pretty nice thing to get right and so if i have to mine through a few ancient debris along the way to upgrade my gear hey man i have absolutely no problem doing that but you can see again we're getting some of those resources so there's our mamelon there's let's see oh primal plant so we got cultivation in there but again i've got i think every atom but one installed on a server currently hesperon there we go so real easy way to set up an automated farming system and not really truly automated uh androids will not get that again you can only get the drops by using the nose and picks so your only option would be you know hey put your mouse on left click tape it walk away hey look at that there's some ancient debris we definitely can use that uh, obviously use an infused hopper to pick up the drop so you don't lose anything but you get the idea of, of what's available in there so guys this is going to wrap up slime frame i appreciate everybody's uh, feedback and comments look forward to hearing more from you but don't forget when you're playing slime fun you've got to go boomer or you got to go home we'll see you later man i can't mine anything today can i